The two of them together just make a great combination because they, you know, they can finish each other's sentences. They have this kind of innate chemistry that can only come from like lifelong friends. Ah! <laughs> come here, you big twat. It's a genuine friendship, and you can tell that there's genuine love for each other. I'm Simon Pegg. Hello, and I'm Nick Frost. We text each other every day, and we, you know, we're in each other's lives. We're godparents to each other's children. It's, it doesn't feel like a, a, a coming together in that respect. What's nice is that just getting to work together is really good fun, always. Mm. So it's... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. That was quite an impressive haul today, Constable Bonneman. Yeah, maybe we should do something to celebrate. What did you have in mind? Well... <laughs> Are you now? <laughs> Fitting for Top Gear? <laughs> Stop looking at my helmet. I'm looking at the, the width of it. It's not the first time you said that. Either sentence. <laughs> I went along to be a writer on the film, and uh, and Stephen said, well, you know, you, you, why don't you be in it? You're an actor. And, um, and said about the Thompson twins, and he said, is there an actor you work well with and like? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Him. Collars match the cuff. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're friends, we're best mates, you know, and that is always, that is more important. I think both of us would be happy uh, never working together again if it meant that we would remain best friends for the rest of our lives. Do you know what I mean? Sure. So we were, we were very poor, we lived in a flat. I, 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 I bust up with the girl that introduced us. I went to live at Nick's house. I slept on the floor for a little bit. It, one night he said, I'll oh, just get in. It You're was cold, it got cold. <laughs> I, like top to tail. And then after a while it was like, well, this is all right. So we slept. <laughs> Before long we were like spooning and stuff and it, it's fine. Good night, Graham. Good night, Clive. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it's it's very nice. Uh, not only am I the recipient, a recipient, but I'm also the the giver. You know, it's uh, we take it turns to be catcher it's 50, and fifty-fifty. You know, I'm sometimes I'm a stone and he's the sponge, and vice versa. Uh, but it's nice. It's nice to be loved. You're be that very by loved. a man, by a woman, by a horse, by a big dog. <laughs> I think we should lose the axe. I like the axe. I like my face. I like your face. Let's keep the axe. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Worked a lot together in the past. Do you ever get sick of each other? I don't get sick of him. I get constantly sick of him. <laughs> uh, my, my own personal mantra is if I'm tired of Simon, I'm tired of life. Yeah? Yachida. <laughs> so Simon would sleep in his, and I'd sleep in mine, but we'd get walkie-talkies, and then we'd talk to each other a bit when we laid in bed and we said good night and then in the morning when we woke up it's hey sorry you're there hello you know and then we talked to each other again you know and uh but she didn't think that she was eating but she wouldn't look at me i think it's a gorillas in the mist thing she was kind of oh, oh. <laughs> she ate like that she could... there is a body in the boot of the car <laughs> who do you call for help and why tom cruise yeah nick frost yeah or chris pine well, I mean, even before I got the choices, it would absolutely be Nick Frost. He knows where all my bodies are buried anyway, so we could just take it to the usual sites. <laughs> when, uh, back in when the early days when we first met, about 93, uh, I, I split up with my girlfriend. It's in a very emotional moment. You know, we had this big row, and in, in a very male demonstrative way, I, I hit the wall, you know, in sort of passionate anger, and I cut my hand really badly. And I went round to Nick, and I came in, and I was like, I had blood all over me. And the first thing he said to me was, You've killed her. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, I just hurt the wall. Can you take me to A and E? <laughs> Bless him. He was ready to do it for me. You know, he's like, come on, get in the car. Well, the only reason we work now is so we can hang out with each other because we live in different parts of London, as Nick said. So, um, but I, I mean, I, I've, I've only ever liked him more since I met um, Nick. What again? Nick. We always finish off each other's sentences. <laughs> Lunches. <laughs> and do spells. Uh, and I, you know, I think spells. <laughs> I want to do butt plug Patronus. Uh, <laughs> you know, I like. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Ain't no uh, Dorian. Oh, <laughs> I'm out of breath. Nick's, 
is my best mate. And what's better than working with your friends? And I, I'm not doing him any favours by putting him in our films. It's not like he needs it. I do it because he's brilliant. Do you know what I mean? And it, it, he's he's an he's an asset. <laughs> I'm happy when a dog licks my face, if I'm honest, <laughs> or my ball. <laughs> Last night. I was on a I was on a little bender too, but <laughs> it's a different thing. Uh, yeah, I went to have a few beers in town, but uh, there was no game no. top crawl. Oh, all right. <laughs> yes. Uh, how did you come along? We met in the, the gamma ray blast. You oh. tell the story. Yeah, you you were you were formerly a scientist called. Uh... The last few days we've been going. Tintin. A lot, haven't we? Yeah. Tintin! Tintin! But then it gets to a natural progress, you know, it progresses, so at one point you're just doing that. Tintin! <laughs> <laughs> you know? I've gone yeah. to bed early and you come in and like, rip, uh, sorry, I rip the covers off. <laughs> Look at me! Those guys. Also, I think as, an, as a planet, we need to be cutting down on, on our use of plastic, so making. Uh... You know, because Edgar was doing Scott Pilgrim, and this has always been very much mine and my wife Nick's idea. Good um, <laughs> we're both riding the uh, the dad glory. If the dowry is right, perhaps they will marry. <laughs> we're hoping. <laughs> I'll have to pay for the damn yes, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. But we think we c if we get our kids to get together, then finally our DNA will become one to create one <laughs> little <laughs> super comedy. Gym. What we couldn't do, what we what, what we they tried, tried yeah. so many <laughs> times but failed. <laughs> well, Nick, why don't you let me show you, Russell? Thank you very much. But stay tuned to this website for more updates, because it's going to be a whole lot of fun. <laughs> right. <laughs> Venerable older actors in Alec to give Baldwin. the film gravitas: Alec Baldwin, <laughs> Peter May, <laughs> <laughs> the great Alec Baldwin. The street since I was 16, been stuck in the beat. After two years of that, I was plenty self-righteous. This ornament I've had since Nick Frost and I lived together 20 years ago, and we call it uh, Kal-El's ship, because it looks like the spaceship in the uh, Richard Donner Superman movie. And every single year when I put up the tree, I take a photograph of it and I send it to Nick with some Christmassy music, usually Box of Delights.